If you caught our recent video ranking almost all of the playable characters across all mainline Street Fighter games, well then you're well aware that Capcom has produced quite a few roster members over the last 35 years, and not all of them were shining examples of success. Some were though, and I'd argue that the single most powerful addition to the franchise in recent years, maybe since Street Fighter 2, has been the sensual, sadistic, and sinister spider, Jury Han. With the perfect combo of strength, sex appeal, personality, and feet, Jury became one of the most beloved Street Fighter characters seemingly overnight once she made her debut in Super Street Fighter 4. She was brought back in Street Fighter 5 as Season 1 DLC and was one of the first revealed characters for Street Fighter 6. And given her overwhelmingly and continued positive reception from fans, we'd be more surprised not to see her appear in any given new Street Fighter game at this point. But who is Jury really? What are her motivations and where does she come from? We can take a look back over her canonical story for answers, then set eyes ahead to predict what Capcom could do with her in the coming days as we cover the full story of Jury leading into Street Fighter 6. The story actually begins some 10 years before the events of Street Fighter 4, where a 15-year-old Jury is growing up with a relatively normal life. She's a bit of a taekwondo prodigy and has a loving mom and a dad, the latter of which is a big deal lawyer who specializes in criminal prosecution. And when he sets his legal sights on criminal organization Shadaloo, however, Jury's dad invokes the wrath of M. Bison, who quickly resorts to one of his favorite special moves, setting up revenge art characters by murdering their closest loved ones and leaving them for dead. He then proceeds to have the whole family kidnapped, murders both of Jury's parents, and leaves her for dead. A stray bullet mutilates Jury's left eye during all this action, which will be important to the story later on. Now this turned our cute little taekwondo star into the emotionally scarred and morally ambiguous street fighter we've all come to know and love. She paints over her ever-present anger with a rich coat of sarcasm and a sprinkle of attractive sensuality, both of which give her a ton of charismatic allure. We skip from there to the events leading up to Street Fighter 4. M. Bison has seemingly been killed and one of his creations, Seth, has taken over Sin, the Shadaloo Intimidation Network. Jury actually teams up with Sin and receives an awesome new eye powered by the Feng Shui engine. This piece of technology gives her elevated fighting abilities, and after leaving the lab where it was implanted, she tests it out to murderously good results on a few gun-toting operatives in a public area. This public disturbance of the peace gets Chun-Li called to the scene, and the two do battle until Jury overpowers and brutally knocks out the strongest woman in the world. Just as she's about to deliver the killing blow, Jury's eye malfunctions and she's forced to retreat and goes back to the lab again, yo. After getting her shui fixed, Jury is sent by Seth to capture the Bison Dolls, whom she finds a few of in a secret base. Her fighting skills continue to prove amazing as she relatively easily infiltrates the base and takes out all of the dolls that are present. Cammy and Guile arrive to try to stop Jury, but she incapacitates Guile, loads the defeated dolls onto gurneys, and escapes with them on a plane. Cammy boards the plane and starts to fight, but loses when Jury knocks Cammy out of said plane by shoving Junie's gurney into her. Both Cammy and Junie survive though, because they land in a plot armor infused patch of snow. Jury then participates in the Street Fighter 4 tournament put on by Seth, and fights both Chun and Kami in a battle of which we don't know the outcome. By the end of the tournament, Bison has re-emerged and defeated Seth, leaving him for dead, as Bison tends to do. Jury comes across a beaten Seth, and instead of helping her former boss up, she finishes the job with a big old Tarantino foot to the Tandon engine. In the events leading up to Street Fighter 5, Jury actually finds Bison and fights him. This ends in her first major loss as Bison rips out her Feng Shui eye and, you guessed it, leaves her for dead. She then goes back to the lab again and finds another Feng Shui engine eye that she installs herself. She decides to team up with Team Good Guys in Street Fighter V, seeing them as the best chance at getting back at Bison for the time being. She plays a side role in A Shadow Falls, helping out Kami through an unlikely team-up story thread, but doesn't do much otherwise as Ryu winds up taking out Bison, perhaps for good this time. So we know that Jury will be in Street Fighter VI, but with Bison seemingly gone now, she's got a good bit of downtime on her hands. In fact, Capcom gave us a story-related snippet upon her unveiling in some text that says she now whittles away her time in a gloomy haze, depicted in her trailer by her eating junk food and being on her phone. Now that gives us a little something to work with, so let's see what we can come up with in terms of an interesting next chapter for Ms. Han. First off, you have to dig into this eye metaphor that comes part and parcel with Jury. 
The ability to see is among the most powerful a character can have, and not so much in the literal sense as much as it is in the ability to set one's sight on a goal or on a target. The clearer you can see where you specifically want to aim, the more effectively you'll be able to order your steps and actions to get there. Juri's initial path in life was heavily altered when she experienced her first major tragedy during which she lost an eye. Her new goal became vengeance, and thus she got a new eye that enhanced her ability to pursue exactly that. Indeed, she was incredibly proficient at virtually every task she undertook while aiming at this goal, winning just about every fight that she got into, of course until she was actually confronting Bison. She wasn't able to obtain her vengeance, and perhaps we could read this as the story telling us that there isn't actual satisfaction to be found in revenge. She gets yet another eye at this point, and though she does technically still help take out Shadaloo by proxy, this feels a lot more like Capcom just wanted to give the character something to do during Street Fighter V, as opposed to a strong, important story thread. She isn't the one who gets Bison, and now, instead of any kind of aim or a goal, she's left only with hedonistic and rather meaningless pursuits, which is exactly what Street Fighter VI art director Kaname Fujioka tells us in a Game Informer interview. This time around, I had thought of what is her personality when she's not taking on these odd jobs, and what does she do during her spare time, says Fujioka. It led to this person who maybe doesn't live the most healthy lifestyle, who's just always on her smartphone, and she takes pictures of enemies she defeats and shares that on social media. Eating a lot of junk food and candy and probably not the most social person. We thought that maybe she would have created a bunch of bad habits where she just uses her foot whichever way she wants and picks up stuff. This would naturally lead to a sense of nihilism and lack of purpose, and therefore we might see the darkest part of Jury's timeline yet. If she's just aiming to do the things that she finds immediately amusing, it's likely going to involve maiming, hurting, and or killing with little to no discrimination. She'd embody chaotic evil, much like the Joker from Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight film, and paired with her formidable physical ability, that's a scary thought. Capcom has kept Jury from ever going too far into either the good or the bad camp, her feng shui engine is marked by a yin yang symbol, and I'd imagine they'd want to keep that going in Street Fighter VI. For our take, she starts the story in some kind of an underground fighting ring where she gets her kicks by beating the living hell out of any and all comers, but is finding the returns to be increasingly unsatisfying. While in this seedy environment, she hears about a particularly heinous plan from the game's main villain, likely to be JP, and though she has the chance to stop it right there and then, she chooses not to because she simply doesn't care. The catastrophic events begin, and Jury does her best to ignore them, but this is becoming increasingly difficult and impossible to do as more and more people are affected and things get closer and closer to home for her. Jury decides to simply flee and take a plane to the other side of the world, but is confronted by an old rival, Chun-Li, just before she's able to take off. Jury is something of a mirrored and twisted version of Chun as both of their fathers were killed by Bison at crucially young ages, both were motivated by revenge, and hey, both tend to favor kicking techniques when they fight. The two could have a big showdown rivalry battle where Chun ultimately communicates how she's found meaning in the opposite path Jury has taken, namely by helping others instead of hurting them, and scores a clean hit that wins the fight and damages Jury's eye yet again. Jury goes back with Chun, gets a new eye from Team Good Guys, and helps thwart the evil plan. Of course, it'd all be wrong to have Jury fully shift over into being a good guy, so she'd probably reject Team Good Guys' offer to be part of the ongoing group once everything is done with. She goes on to marry the good and bad parts of her personality by becoming something of a vigilante where she helps some people by hurting others. A lot. So, did you learn anything new about who Jury is or her story thus far? What did you think about our potential next leg of the journey for her? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like what you saw here, be sure to check out our similar videos for Ryu, Chun-Li, Akuma, and Kami in this playlist here. I've been John Velociraptor Guerrero for Event Hubs, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> じゃあね。